Athens, the birthplace of democracy, ish, and apparently home of the highest reported temperature in Europe. Why am I telling you this though? Well, today, I attempt to channel my inner Alexander as I attempt to survive in one of the least played starts in the game. I also ended up breaking the game. No, seriously, this was one of the strangest games of EU4 I've ever played in my 2000 hours. I'd advise you to carry on watching until the end, as it just keeps on getting weirder. Also, please do like this video. If this video gets over a thousand likes, I'll have a video with over a thousand likes. You know what country I've never actually played as? I, I mean, you could probably probably tell by the fact that I've highlighted it, but I've never played as Athens, so I thought today I'd uh, do something a little bit different and attempt to conquer the Balkans as Athens without ever having played it ever. I'm sort of going into this one blind. Right, so, um, thing to know about Athens, if you didn't already know, we're, uh, we're a vassal of Byzantium. So in my opinion, we're in a worse position than Byzantium. And were the Ottomans... Ooh. Alright, so we've got the Venetians and the Ottomans on side. Um, we might be able to get the Genoese as well. You know what? This is this is going to be fine. This is going to be good. Okay, the Byzantines don't have any allies. It would just be me. I'm going to claim their stuff. Screw it, we'll go for it. Oh no! <laughs> Plans off, guys. The allied has Gavinia. Yeah, you know what? I don't even want the... Ooh, I could have the Ottomans as allies. Do I want the Ottomans as allies? Yeah, realistically, having the Ottomans as allies aren't really going to help me in my aims of conquering the Balkans, so... You know. We're going to Greekify this entire area. And we're at war. Let's do this. Okay. His forts are muffled. Oh, I'll actually get there. Where are you going, Venice? With... You just did a little tour, make sure everything's okay, and, and you're doing it as well. Lads, please, just... This has actually gone a lot smoother than I, uh... <laughs> than I thought. That's good. Why is my monument viewed as insignificant? It's the Parthenon. All right, first things first, that's given you. I'm going to need that money. <laughs> and I guess just become Catholic. Wait, am I Catholic? Huh. Okay, that's that's cool. We'll just become Catholic then, I, I suppose. As for the Byzantines, let's demand independence. Oh, I can't take them as a vassal. Why is that not allowed? I can't do an old switcheroo on them. Okay, I, I understand. Well, I don't want you to be alive anyway. Perfect. All right, so that's the <laughs> that's the start of our journey. The Ottomans have a lot of rivals, which is good for me. Ooh, Hungary might come in. Who are you? Would you come in? No. All right, well let's let's get some some more allies. I reckon I've been improving relations with the Ottomans that entire time. Yeah, I'm sure they'll they'll be they'll be thrilled to see what I've done. All right, we've allied Albania at least, and that's the three star general. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> Why would I? Okay, look at this amazing offer. Venice would like us to transfer 10% of our trade power to them in all shared trade nodes. Why would I do that? Like, there's no point. I've never understood this. Has anyone ever accepted this? There isn't an AI. We should have that instead of captures. Um, I'm just gonna quickly switch over to Orthodox. <laughs> that just seems like a better idea. Oh, I can just sway the Pope. <laughs> what, by becoming Orthodox? <laughs> uh, hey. Oh, Herzegovina's dead! Oh dear, I made them Catholic and everything. And then I changed. We've managed to secure the alliance to Hungary, and that's, uh, that's very important indeed. You no longer desire me as an ally. Oh, because, uh, okay. Well, apparently because I stated my intentions. God forbid I have a voice, Venice. Right, they, I mean, they'd all come in. I mean, I'm promising them more land, and I have no intentions of giving it to them. I've decided instead I'm going to curry favours with Venice, uh, and then I don't have to lose them as an ally after them. Which, you know, <laughs> as priorities go, probably quite a good one. Hungry, please, you've taken everything. You need to stop. Mamluks declared war on the Ottomans. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> I might have to go without him. I've got way too many troops for my size, but we're going. Their capital's being sieged down by the Great Horde. I reckon we could do it with just me and Venice. That's way too risky, that's a terrible idea. I can call in the Albanians, but they don't really add too much to the party. I've got the three-star general, I suppose. He's got no siege, though. All right, I can call them both in for favors, then. Let's get going. Oh, they pieced out. Let's have a look. Crimea will see Crimea and the edge. You lost? Oh, come on. That's that's a bit pathetic. You, you gave them two prom- Really? Also, why are we- What are the Ottomans doing up in Hungary? Where are they- Oh, they're going to Venice, aren't they? Oh, that's not good. Oh! The Hungarians took a lot of the Balkans. Okay, so when I say the Balkans, guys, I- Balkans is a big place. 
Oh, the Venetians just took out an Ottoman force. Brilliant. All right. Look, the gang's all working together. Okay, I need to turn off friendly armies because <laughs> the Albanians are getting a bit confused here. Oh, war's breached again. This is the luckiest of it. Ah, oh, there's an Ottoman army. And there goes my army. All right, Albania. It's up to me and you. Oh, or it's just up to you. I'm coming. I'm helping. Okay. <laughs> you do you, Skandabek. You do you, man. I can call in the Albanians, but they don't really add too much to the party. All right, Adane's won. Oh, it looks like the Venetians beat the Ottomans. This is... <laughs> Is this how every Athens games goes? Because if so, this is this is great. I thought this was gonna be a lot harder than this. Oh, wait, hang on, I have to like ham it up for the for the camera because this isn't as difficult as I thought it'd be. Oh, 7,000 Ottoman troops! What are we gonna do? <laughs> Win the siege of Gelibolu whilst the uh, Mamluks siege down Anatolia, I suppose. Oh, this is and look at this 25 ducats from Caravan. This is this is great. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, I get. Another claim on Kukulisa. This, I haven't had a single bad event yet. This is amazing. Oh no, every other game of EU4 is going to feel awful after this. I mean, there's another four up there I suppose I could take. The Ottomans really only have 7,000. Oh, they've got, the, they've got, yeah, this is, I can see their entire army. They've got 7,000 up there. They've got 1,000 here, 1,000 here. That's really sad. And they're about to have 800 men descended upon by... What, like 50,000 of us? 20,000 of us? Oh, the Serbians declared war! <laughs> oh, this, this is good. This is this is the way. They're currently working on making it a core. Uh, we'll see how far they get with that one. I'm only like 50 in debt. This is... Oh, I just need to... I'm just taking my hands off my keyboard for a second. I'm just... Oh, man! So this is what enjoying EU4 feels like. It's, it's never happened to me. Oh! Oh, God! Where's Syros? They've just got a core on them. This is... Oh, man. This is the best game of my life. This is how the Athenians pay their troops. We just sort of stand on provinces we've already taken and just take their money to pay our troops. I mean, our troops still get paid, so... <laughs> Okay, let's uh, gather the troops up together um, and call for help. Oh, the Albanians are here. In which case, let's just go attack them. So to recap, let's see who the Ottomans are at war with. They are at war with the Mamluks. Uh, they are at war with Serbia and Wallachia. Um, they are at war with Bosnia, uh, Venice and me. Well, Albania, but... Mm. To be fair, Skanderbeg has pulled his weight. And they'll accept peace. Excellent. Okay. I think I'm going to make Greek my primary culture. I think that makes sense. Um, it changed the names. Nice. Uh, just for fun. And I'm also going to... Where are you? Release Bulgaria. I want to see what happens to the Ottomans on this side of things. Oh, they're raising troops to go and fight the Serbs. Oh, dear. Oh, it's all gone wrong. Oh! Okay, well, this is... Huh. You're back. Hello, friend. Uh, it's, it's good to see you again. Do you have cause on me? Oh boy, do you! Oh, Jesus Christ. You could have given back any of these cores, but you decided, no, we're gonna give back. I mean, to be fair to them, they took... Wait. No, this was the, the Mamluks piece. They took one province. They pillaged Hudavenga. Hudavendiga. And then they just gave stuff to Karaman. They just... Okay. So now the Serbians are fighting for the reconquest of Uskup, but they already have it. I don't know about this game, guys. Someone's oh, Granada's taken. <laughs> oh, no, what is this? What am I looking at? So Hungary takes over sort of Bosnia and Serbia. Serbia takes part of the Ottomans. I killed Byzantium, but then the Mamluks returned them. Caravan's like slightly larger, and the Knights have a are uh, holding now. They've got their core back. All while Granada is. Are they coring it? Did that just happen? It's sort of hard to provide commentary in a game like this because I have no idea what the hell's going on. I didn't think I'd ever see Serbia and the Ottomans get into a death war because neither one is surrendering here. And and they really should. Like, they really, really should. Part of me wanted to go in and, uh, and vassalize them. Oh. Well. The Balkans... Okay, so now the Byzantines are at war with... 
Wallachia because Moldavia attacked them? The Balkans is, is, is just a mess. <laughs> oh my god, they won! Which means more land for me. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, you. Oh, I feel so bad for you. You really, really shouldn't have done that. You only have 10 ducats? Really? Alright, well, I'm gonna force religion on you. <laughs> I'll probably, you know, flip to Catholic and then force it again in a couple of years, but for now, I'm forcing religion on you. I don't know. Yeah, I'll do. Oh, man, this, this has gotta suck for you. You fight an entire death war against the Ottomans just to have me take your things. Uh, I, I will also take your gold mine. Will they take it? They will. Okay, so I'm about to divide the Balkans even further. <laughs> Welcome to the map against Herzegovina, who are Catholic when I force them to flip to Catholic. We've got Montenegro and we've got Serbia. All one province miners. And obviously, Ragusa in the region, a one province miner. Oh, this is this is the best timeline. Yeah, the astute of you might have noticed that I've uh, been building a spy network this entire time. Um, I think it is time the Greeks started colonizing again. And by colonizing, I mean conquering Naples because they're really weak. In the time it's taking me to land the troops, uh, Venice has already won the war. So, thanks guys. <laughs> what the hell happened here? What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Danzig's a thing now and they have to fight the Teutons. And they're allied to Poland, who just lost to the Teutons. And now they're at war again. Okay. Okay, understandable. Oh, the Ottomans declared on Dolkadir, um, and also... Okay, it looks like the, the Teutons sieged that back, but they've also carved a path into Poland and Lithuania. I'm just gonna hunker down and wait for my truce with the Ottomans to be up. That's, that's all I care about. I make 4.5 off of gold, because uh, I developed Kosovo to be... <laughs> almost the 30th development province, so that's fun. Oh! Danz has taken another fort. How are they doing this? They're everywhere. Right, now he's upset. You're upset. Why are you upset? Just don't be upset. This isn't an area? Oh, that's a mistake. There we go. I've been allied to Albania this entire time. I mean, you're, you're worthless to me now. Scanabeg is dead. You're not the man he was. And your son's called Mustafa. <laughs> okay, so, um... Before I before I look, I just want you to cast your eyes to the top of the screen. Now, either I have gone partially colorblind in a very specific area, or the Teutonic Order have done some. <laughs> they can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> Why? I wouldn't even do that. Oh, Jesus. You can't do this, Hungary. You can't just eat all the miners. It's not nice. You became a march of the Ottomans. Now, why would you think that would be a good idea? No, tell me your thinking, please. What, is, are you okay? Do you need help? Is this a cry for help? Is, is this for attention? You're being attacked by Bohemia. Oh, Paul. You know what? I... I don't want to. You've been bullying the uh, the Balkans for far too long. No, screw you. I don't care. I don't. I don't need you. You you were never useful to me. <laughs> don't worry. And help will help you. Another thing. Switzerland is preparing to attack Savoy in a war of aggression. There's not much time before we wish to interfere. What do you want me to? Okay. Okay. No. Hang on. I've seen something else. Lunebergian Low Countries. When? What is this game? This is. <sighs> I don't know what. To... I mean, at least Muscovy's beating Novgorod. That's that's the only thing, really, that, that's normal. You've got Granada taking two provinces from Castile. Lundberg is now... I... Yeah, they're a great power. Oh, it looks like the Hungarians aren't faring too well. It's a little thing called karma, I believe. Wouldn't know, it's never happened to me. Right, time to take our cause back, uh, and we will call in the Venetians. They owe us uh, for all that fighting that they've done for us that we let them do. Alright, there's the Venetian ships. And we can cross the strait. Oh, there are some Ottomans. Don't think they're dangerous though. Oh, yeah, no, they're... <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're, I think they're fine. <laughs> I would actually do it. Great Horde. They got it, like, there's no way. 
it's just strange to me that they lo are losing this because I mean, sure, Bohemia's like Bohemia, but Hungary's bigger than them, and they took the Balkans. So I don't know. Oh, it looks like they've pieced out uh, for nothing. They they didn't take anything. Oh, Iraqi gave me twenty ducats. Oh, cheers, man. Oh, there we go. What did they take? They took... Oh, and now Poland's having a go on Hungary. Okay. So it looks like Bosnia... Did they get two provinces back, perhaps? Uh, they only took three provinces, but I think they released Croatia. All right, I mean, I can take everything I want, uh, which happens to be the northern coast of the Balkans and Bulgaria to get all their cores back. I think... You know what? I think we've been going a while. I think that's what we'll call it there. Um, the Great Horde is now going after Kazan. This has been... Uh, the strangest game of EU4. Poland, I just, you know what, you've, you've seen it all. I don't need to say anything about Lundberg in France or whatever. Um, I'm out of camera, continue playing Athens, you know. That was actually a really, really, really fun campaign. Right, we've crossed the Bosphorus and uh, are on the beginnings of, I suppose, recreating Alexander's Empire, which now I've thought about it is an excellent idea for a video. But if you have any ideas of your own, please do let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.